Hey everybody, welcome back. I wanted to show you I got some goodies. So, got a nice little Momo box here and uh, an accompanying uh, adapter for the Humvee. So I figured I'd let you guys see this as we open it up and take a quick look. So I've already cut things open. So I've got us a, a Momo Comp steering wheel. Looks like it's and the Hummer H1 adapter. And then of course the, the horn button in the center section of the, of the wheel. Anyway, uh, let me get this pulled apart. Uh, I think I've got a steering wheel puller in the toolbox, so we'll see if we can't pull it, pull this off and see what it looks like underneath. So let's give that a go. For you all that are trying to figure out how to get the horn to uh, the horn to work, got an easy solution and it works really, really well. So the way the horn originally worked, you had that uh, you, you had an assembly that was about that big, had a rubber piece on it. And that rubber piece was the center. Essentially, what happened when you pushed the the rubber center, it completed the circuit, grounded what was coming through, and the horn went off. So what I did is I actually took that center piece, and the way that thing worked is. It had, uh, it had aluminum on the outside, and then it had a center sleeve that was isolated with, uh, with nylon or silicone or something that basically had these two separated. So the outside and the inside did not touch. So there wasn't a, was not a continuous circuit. So when you pushed, it had a plunger that would essentially touch the center piece and completed the circuit. So what I did, I took that piece out, kept the rubber grommet and the, the male pin, and I cleaned everything off, I cut the outer edge off, kept the nylon, and what I did is made a big bead of solder down the middle and took a wire with a clip that matches my horn uh, and matches my horn pin and soldered it down the center shaft, being sure that it doesn't touch anything on the outside. So what I do is stick that down the center, it goes in, comes in contact, sticks in place, is nice and solid, and then this guy, the secondary contact, is grounded to the outside of the horn, which is grounded all the way down the sleeve. It hits the ground, and we could see that earlier with a voltmeter. So, basically, what I've got to do here is connect these two. Go ahead and connect the pin on, just like that. Oops, so she can't work. I have to open that pin up a little bit, but anyway. Connect the pin. So now she's on. So nothing's on. That's all there is to it. We got it going. So now all we got to do is get the horn on, mount the centerpiece, and uh, we should be good to go. All right. So finished result. Everything's in. Horn buttons in. Everything's buckled down. 